I'm Dr. Sine Kane, and in this video we're going to talk about how to take care of your surgery or biopsy wound. Okay, we have Jesse and Carolina here to help us. So first let's show you what supplies you're going to need. So you'll see here you'll need a soap, and you can use any soap that you have at home. You'll need a band-aid, gauze or clean towel, q-tips, and a, a plain greasy ointment like Vaseline. On the okay. day of the biopsy, you'll see a bandage. It might be a bulky bandage like this one or a simple band-aid. You're going to leave this on for 24 hours and don't get it wet during that time period. The numbing medicine will last for a few hours. If you experience some discomfort, you can take Tylenol. So 24 hours later, you'll begin your wound care. The first step is to wash your hands. Once your hands are washed, you'll remove the dressing. Then you're going to clean the wound with soap and water. This can be done in the shower as well. You're going to gently remove any dried blood or crust which can slow wound healing. Once the wound is clean, you'll pat it dry. You can use a Q-tip to apply a thin layer of plain greasy ointment like Vaseline. Do not use Neosporin, Vitamin E, or anything else as these are more likely to cause an allergic reaction on the skin, which can sometimes look like an infection. Once you have your Vaseline on there, put a Band-Aid on. You can use any Band-Aid that you want to cover the wound. If you have sensitive skin, it can be helpful to use a paper tape based Band-Aid like these ones. And if the wound is in an area that gets wet frequently, you can use a waterproof Band-Aid. Okay, so you're gonna keep this Band-Aid on and keep it dry until your next dressing change. You're gonna repeat this process every day until the wound is healed or the stitches are removed. Now let's talk about some frequently asked questions. It can be normal to see specks of blood on the bandage but if it becomes completely soaked in blood, you'll need to remove it to identify the site of bleeding. You'll then take a piece of gauze or a clean towel and apply pressure to the area of bleeding for 30 minutes straight, no peeking. It can be helpful to watch a TV show as a distraction during this time period. If you check and bleeding is still going on, you can repeat this for another 30 minute segment. After that, if you continue to have bleeding, you'll need to contact your doctor for further instructions. If you had a shave biopsy done, you'll see a circle with a red rim and a central portion that is white to yellow in color. If you had a punch biopsy done, it can be normal to see some pink color around the stitches and at the center of the wound. If you notice that the redness is spreading far from the wound or you have an increase in pain, you should contact your doctor for further instructions. Do not use any scar treatments while the stitches are in place or the wound is healing. Afterwards, you can talk to your doctor about how to improve the appearance of your scar.